you will study how to edit geometric relationships in this class. For this reason, you will use the displayed file which contains all geometric relationships and inserted measurement values. Notice, after inserting all geometric and dimensional constraints in a drawing, there are many elements crowding the workspace. This hinders viewing your drawing. You need to limit drawing element display in order to solve this problem. Geometric constraint display control is performed using the show, show all and hide all tools. You can hide all geometric constraints using the hide all tool. Take a look at this. After hiding all constraints, you can use the Show tool to display some specific entity constraints. For this reason, you enable this tool to select the display of the defined constraint entities and then confirm the selection. See how the selected entity constraints are displayed now. The Show All tool is used to show all existent project constraints. You can also hide the relationship by placing the mouse on it and clicking the X shown in the display box. See this. See here how we can delete a relationship which is no longer active by clicking the mouse and then selecting Delete on the displayed menu. It is necessary to be careful in this type of deletion, as it is common for several kinds of constraints to be grouped in the same box. Then, when you delete this way, all other related relationships will also be deleted. See how you can also change the placement of the constraint boxes by simply dragging them to new positions. Access the Constraint Settings dialog box to change the transparency of the displayed boxes. Use the Constraint Bar Transparency option on the Geometric tab to do this. You can even control the Dimensional Constraint display using the Show Dynamic Constraint tools. The Constraint Setting options also controls the display of these elements. It is also possible to define the way coordinates are displayed. You can select the following options in dimensional constraints format. Name, to display only the measurement name. Value, to display the measurement value. Name and expression, to display the name and expression in the measurement. If no expression is used, the measurement value will be displayed. Use the Delete Constraints tool to delete all constraints used on the existing drawing object. This tool is very simple to use. Just enable it, select the entity where all constraints will be deleted and then confirm the selection. Automatically, all constraints for other elements related to this entity will also be deleted. So in this class you have studied how to control geometric and dimensional constraint display and delete these elements from the project. You must get familiar with these operations and you will assure your success in this course.